What's going on, you guys? I'm back with another video. What's popping, y'all? How y'all doing? So, in this video, I'm gonna be cutting down his hair with a three with the grain. Uh, make sure you want to brush the hair before you actually cut the hair, because so that way you get a a good, um, good little flow of what his pattern is gonna be like. So we're just taking it down. Um, I'm eventually gonna cut off the little. Um, the mullet back there so we're gonna do like a little um like a little tail in the back we're gonna do a taper over the tail so i'm using a three just to keep it dark still and i, I want to keep it long so make sure you guys follow the hair pattern so you guys don't patch or anything so as you can see i'm, I'm i keep combing the hair so to see which way the hair grows and the pattern of his hair <laughs> So I'm gonna be setting in the ball line with my baby's liners. Um, I'm not gonna go too low, but I'm also not gonna go too high. I'm kind of keeping the the ball line like kind of at the bottom of the ear. Um, I don't want to go too low because I am gonna be keeping that. Oh, drop my phone. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I am gonna be keeping that the tail. So you want to make a straight line because this is really important because you do want to keep. You want to make sure that that tail is straight. So make sure that the the the, the line is straight. And yeah. So now I'm gonna be setting in my guideline. I don't want to take off that hair on the bottom. So I'm being extra careful of how I'm making my guideline. So I'm making the guideline about half an inch to an inch. I'm about to say half an inch. Um, so again, be extra careful because you do not want to cut off the hair at the bottom because he's trying to keep that. So um, I am making it about half an inch. Uh, make sure it's straight, you guys. Make sure it is straight. And yeah. So on this part, we're gonna be closing our lever all the way closed just to take out that bottom line. Um, so again, be extra careful of uh, where you put your blade at because you don't want to cut off that hair. So I close my lever and then I'm gonna go halfway and then open. So I play my levers a lot. Um, the more you cut hair, the more that you get the understanding of what the levers do. So you wanna, how I do it, I just go close first and then I go halfway to take out that the line I made with the close and then I go open and then you want to just fluctuate in between what those uh, levers do um, it, it might take some time to do at first but when you keep cutting the repetition you get it down and it'll just come natural so we have our number one guard here on our walls so we have to make another guy line about half an inch to an inch um, as you can see I'm flicking out because I don't want to make another hard line when I'm doing my guidelines because I, I, I say this all the time, you guys. <laughs> I sound like a broken record now. <laughs> but when you make hard lines, it's hard to take out. So what I like to do is I make my line and then I flick out at the end. So that way it's easy to take out and you have no problem. You know, I got to take it higher and higher. So yeah, 
there you guys go. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are having some free game here, yo. You know what I'm saying? But I also want to let you guys know, if you guys are new to this channel, please feel free to subscribe, you know. Um, uh, I want to know what you guys, how you guys came across my page, or not my page, my YouTube. And uh, if you guys learned anything off my YouTube, I just want to know, you guys. Um, uh, so yeah, if you guys are new, again, feel free to subscribe. So now we're going to be going on to the zero guard on our walls. Um, I'm going to be starting my lever all the way open to cut because so that way I can see what that what my guard is going to do to the hair. Because some hair is a lot different than the others, but when you do it open, it lightens it up and then that way you can go closed and halfway. So I'm, I'm playing with my levers again like I always tell you guys to do. You want to go open, halfway, close. Um, just play with it. Always use the corners of your blade because that way you have more precision of where you cut and like which hair to cut, you know? Um, the thing about like a pencil and like that little little area, you have more control on that, you know, little tip, you know, of, of the pencil, you know what I'm saying? But so use this like you're, you're, you're coloring somebody's hair or, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know how to freaking explain it, but it's something like that, you know? <laughs> So we're going to be using our number one and a half guard just to line up that, you know, a little dark spot uh, right there. Uh, it's not really taking off chunks of hair, but it is doing the job and making it lighter. So one and a half right here, guys. So for the side taper, we are using our walls and we're going to make our first guy line about half an inch uh, wide. Uh, we're doing a high taper on him, so we're doing the uh, no hooks. <laughs> so the guy line, half an inch, make sure that it's straight and also make sure you flick out of where you want to stop your guy line. So we have our one and a half guard here and the reason why I'm doing a one and a half here is you see that bulk on the side I want to get rid of it so I'm using the one and a half just to clear out the bulk on the side so that way I can see what I'm cutting. I'm eventually going to uh, blend it out. Uh, for some people you might think that oh man you're going way too high it's you're not going to look right. No. Everything will look right. I'm just clearing out some hair so that way I can see what I am doing. And so it's ya. Yeah. <laughs> so we have uh, our clip rover comb right here. And this is why this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to be clipping the hair that is sticking out. So you want to keep your comb at a straight angle and you want to cut the hair that it's poking out. So when you keep your, your comb straight and you put it up to the hair, whatever's sticking out, that's what you cut. It took me a long time to understand clipper over comb, but when you keep doing it over and over, repetition, it really it really kicks in. And um, you gotta keep doing it over and over and over. I mean, I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm a pro. <laughs> so we have our one guard here now. So I am basically, it's not gonna do much because I did a one and a half, you know, to take off that bulk. So it's not gonna really do much. So what I'm doing, I am using the corners as you can see that right corner. Uh, and I'm just flicking out uh, What it's doing is lightening up I'm eventually gonna go on my zero guard and you know blend that thing out So as you see it is it is lightened all you gotta do is just take that zero guard just to take that little bottom line out and There you guys go So now we have our zero guard and you guys are really gonna see what the zero guard is is going to do for this taper it's going to make the whole thing pop so i have my lever all the way open and then i'm using the corners just to get the little dark spots i want to kind of be more precise of where what i'm cutting because it is a taper and um 
tapers are mainly just fades on the side of your head or on the on the temple area but you really got to make sure that it is you know precise in that location and area of the you know the hair or head um but as you guys can see look at this guys i am using the corners and look how blurry that looks that zero guard really made a big difference of this cut because look it's just it's beautiful uh, so I did use a one and a half guard again, just you know, so I can lighten that spot up and make it more blurrier. Uh, there is still a little dark spots on top, so again, that's why I'm using the one and a half guard. So here's a guard you guys never really see me use. It's a number two guard. <laughs> I'm using number two guard so because it is dark again on top, so I'm just gonna be blending up. But I also am using the corners because I don't want to make a hard line, especially how crispy and blurry this taper looks. So I don't want to mess it up. So I am using the corners just to take out some dark spots. So we're going to be transitioning to the lineup on the neck and around the ear. Uh, I'm using my babyless liners to line up. Uh, so the best way to line up behind the ear is you kind of want to follow the natural line you don't want to go too high back because that that loop or that little ear lineup is going to look funky so you kind of want to keep it as low as possible kind of use the ear as like a tracer you know you want to cut around the ear so use that ear kind of as a tracer but just don't go too high guys and also use the corners to you know like a pencil again to line it up so on to the lineup here the most important part of the haircut you guys <laughs> so i'm starting from the middle and i'm working my way to the left and then the right it's important to start from the middle for me is because so that way you can start that first little line that first base and then so you don't got to worry about it being uneven on each side so work your way from the middle then the left and then to the right you guys So this video is about wrapped up you guys i thank you so much for watching my youtube videos it means a lot to me you guys if you guys are new to the channel again please feel free to subscribe um my instagram is at the top left of the corner so if you guys have any answers feel free to hit me up and look how crispy this hair looks Ooh -wee. <laughs> i'm out y'all take it easy later